Welcome here to my channel. Today we talk about this thing, the Peak Design Tech Pouch. So, let's get started. First thing to say, I've been using this product over the last year and a half, so I would say that after all this time, I'm finally ready to make a review about this. But now it's time to discover what's inside and how this product is. Starting from the outside and the materials, in general the quality of this product is amazing and as you can see there are two zippers on this product. The first one is this main zipper and the second one is this one, this little one on the side. When you open the main zipper, you reveal all the accessories and the tools that you have inside the Peak Design tab pouch. And one important thing to say is that after all this time, this one is not my final setting and configuration of the pouch just because, you know, it depends on the situation. And so in this video and in this review, I just want to show you how much things you can fit into this product and actually you can really put everything in this 2 liter volume body. From this view you have a direct access to just every single accessory but starting from the middle the first thing that there is is this Sateki hub for my MacBook so it has all the USB ports, HDMI, Ethernet for the internet and even some SD card readers. And other things that are here are these two SSDs from Sunday, so there are here two pockets for these. And this one are, in my opinion, some of the best SSDs out on the market because they are really small, ultra resistant, and the price is not that high compared to other SSDs. Continuing here in the middle, there's this little pocket which unveils this cable which I just use it to read and connect these SSDs to the computer and even we have this USB-A to USB-C adapter always for the SSDs and even a little plate which I just use for my camera to connect it to the tripod or even for lights or other things for the tripod. Keeping our view in the middle we have here a pair of AirPods Pro 2 so I've been using this product over the last months and in my opinion these are some of the best headphones out on the market and yeah so this product is really amazing and there's space to keep it in this pouch. Here next to the AirPods there's this USB-C to USB-C cable, which is a fabric cable, so it's a bit better than the normal plastic cables. So now moving to the side of the tech pouch, there's more space, more room for some bigger products. And the first thing that comes up is this PGY Tech CreateMate High Speed Reader Case. And this product, I've been reviewing it in a video four months ago, and this product is really amazing because it's a normal card reader storage because here you can put all your SDs, micro SDs and even SIM cards but the great fact and feature about this product is that you can even connect it through this little cable you can connect for example your SD to a computer so it's really amazing because you have everything packed into a really little product Continuing here, we have a case for a UV filter for my camera, so there's lots of spaces yes, because this is about 72 millimeters wide. And so, yeah, there's even space for the filters for your camera. So this was the bigger side compartment, but as you can see, there are even some more little pockets on the side. This one is a little case for a SD. There's even here a battery for my Fujifilm X-H2. So as you can see, it fits in this little pocket here. There are three different pockets. And the third pocket contains a really interesting product. So these two are the Peak Design Anchors. They are really small. And these are really useful for lots of things. Because if you connect them, to a product, for example, to a camera, to a tripod, or even to this Peak Design tech pouch, 
You can use them for example with a slide like the Peak Design slide or even the Peak Design cup. And so it's really a great thing and way to carry your product. For example, you have these ones on my camera just to connect the slide and bring my camera, but even we can connect these to this little Peak Design tech pouch if you want to carry it and it's, they are really simple to connect to products and after you have connected it you can just for example take the big design slide plug them into the two anchors and then once you close it you are finally ready to take it and to bring it like a little bag. So this is a really great way to bring your Peak Design tech pouch, for example, if you don't want to put it in the backpack. So usually, to be honest, I don't bring my Peak Design tech pouch in this way because I prefer to put it, for example, in a backpack, but there's the fact that if you want, you can do it. And if you already own this slide for your camera, you can even connect it to this tech pouch. So it's a really nice feature. Personally, I don't use all these, but you can just do it if you want. So look at all the things that we have brought out of this product. So yeah, it's literally on this side, amazing. And going forward to the next pocket, we go here, in, always in the middle and we find a USB-C to lightning cable, so I use this cable for my iPhone because I own still an iPhone 14 Pro. I've made a video about that iPhone, so if you want, you can check it out. The next thing that we find here is this little pocket for the iPhone. It's a MagSafe pocket, so you can just take it and connect it directly to the iPhone. So we move now to the side, to the final side, of the big design tech pouch. So here, first big thing that we find is this Logitech MX Mouse Master. So at the moment, I don't use lots of times a mouse with my MacBook just because I used to use the trackpad, the external trackpad, but still, as you can see, it's pretty huge and I can fit easily in this big design tech pouch. And even I have here in the middle, in one of the pockets, I have the little key to connect to a computer, for example, which doesn't have Bluetooth. Now, continuing on this side, we have a two meters long USB-C to USB-C cable with its charger. So I use all these to charge my MacBook, but even it's USB-C, so for example, I can charge the iPad if I want or even other things. So final pockets on the side to see are these three pockets. These three pockets contains basically the same product because they are three parts of the same product. So here's a little cable to connect to my external microphone which is a Rode Vidomicro. So for example, I use this microphone when I'm outside and I cannot use the lavalier cable microphone. So as you can see, you can easily fit a microphone even into this pouch. Usually I bring it into this little bag, but you can just put it directly into the pockets because you need to consider that in general, this big design tech pouch is pretty resistant. So as you can see, it's not completely solid because you can stretch it and compress it but the fact is that it's gonna keep its shape for example when you're gonna fit it with all the products and with all the accessories and so you will not run in any particular damage on the products inside because it's well covered on the outside the material is quite resistant and for example after all these years the material is still perfect on the outside and even on the inside. And there's one final thing to say, because as you can see here now, the tech pouch is empty. It wasn't, to be honest, completely full because there were still more space, for example, here on the most over part. But 
you can fit it with all more products but as you can see now there are already lots of things that I could fit into it but there's still if you remember the external pocket so here's an external little pocket with, which contains two different things the first one is an elastic you may be saying why do you bring an elastic the reason is that for example when I place my filter on my Fujifilm and I tighten it the fact is that when I want to pull the filter out I'm not just able to grab it and rotate it to pull it out and so having a little elastic with myself or even for example in the backpack or here in the pouch is always great because it allows me to put it over the filter and just pull it out so yeah it's a really simple thing but it's pretty useful when I use the filter and the other thing that you can find here is this one we have already talked about this is the Peak Design cuff and as I was saying before this one goes with the Peak Design anchors in general for example I use this cuff with my camera for sure not with this pouch and so it's good to have space to fit this in this pouch and so this pouch now is completely empty here are all the products that I had inside it as I said before you can even fit more and more products but you know I wouldn't fit it completely because everything would be not much accessible and one final thing to say is that here on this side pocket you have a little hole as you can see here so you can take for example a cable with a power bank inside the pouch or for example on the outside and so you can just put the cable here in this way and have for example the access to the power and to the energy just keeping the cable inside and the power bank inside so in general if I have to give a mark to this product I would say that that's pretty positive because talking about the materials this pouch is really great it's almost perfect as new it doesn't have any damage after any test use of it on the side of the organization because if you're going to buy this product is to organize all your accessories all your cables into one little product and the organization as you have seen it's I would say perfect too because as you can see on the inside there are lots of pockets lots of little compartments to place and to organize all your things as you prefer and so in general I don't have anything negative to say about this product because my experience with it is completely I would say fine because there isn't something that I can say okay so this isn't great so the price of this product in the US is of $59.95 US dollars and in Europe we have a price of $69.99 euros so you can find all the other prices on the Big Design website and in general in my opinion the price of this product is fine because if you look at the quality of the Peak Design products like the sling, even the backpacks that I've tried it and all the other things I would say that this price is just normal for the quality that you are going to pay and so I would say that for sure it's not a cheap product because you need to spend for example in my case in Europe 70 euros about for this product but once you buy it in my opinion in most of the cases you're gonna be extremely and completely satisfied about this so I would say that's all for this video subscribe if you enjoyed it and if you, if you liked it and yeah that's all for this one see you guys in the next video and see you maybe in the next review or talk here on the channel so that's all bye see you soon